dramatic. Not to us, it might be funny, but to the person experiencing it, it can be a really frightening affliction. And here to join us, or joining us, to tell us more about stage fright and also how to overcome it, we are joined by our acting coach, Paul Griffiths. Laka, it's so awesome to see you again. Thank because you very I have much. had um, experience <laughs> with you before. Now, um, for those who don't know who you are, Paul, please tell us a little bit more about you. And also, okay. have you ever experienced stage fright before? Um, do you mean apart from what I'm experiencing right uh -huh. this second? Um, okay, uh, my name is Paul Griffiths and I am the director of the Waterfront Theatre College, okay. which is a training college for people who are in the performing arts. Um, I'm also a freelance director. Okay. So I get to work with actors both in a rehearsal room and then also in performance. So I have had quite a lot of close encounters uh -huh. with the experience of stage fright. Okay, now please tell us exactly what is stage fright. Okay, um, it's an interesting thing because what we have to acknowledge right from the beginning is that being nervous when you are standing in front of people and having to talk is perfectly typical and an experience that everyone will have. Okay. Um, and what happens to our brains when we're in that kind of situation is it does a risk assessment where it looks and it goes, okay, how threatened am I? How frightened do I need to be? Mm -hmm. Then the body releases adrenaline in okay. order to try and deal with what it is that it's experiencing as an emotional effect uh -huh. to the event. Now, some people love that feeling of adrenaline. Mm -hmm. So they get this adrenaline rush and they feel quite excited. Um, we call them adrenaline junkies. junkies. Yes, they almost yes. will seek out an experience that will make them fearful so that they can feel that adrenaline rush. But for some people, the adrenaline rush is so extreme that the body then manifests some kind of bizarre effect. Oh, wow. And one of the first things that will happen is their breathing will be affected. Mm -hmm. So instead of being able to breathe normally and calmly, suddenly they'll either breathe in and then not breathe out, so, or uh -huh. they will breathe quite quickly. Um, Shallowly, yeah. And that almost then is, it sends a signal to the body that it should panic. Oh, wow. And when the body panics, it becomes quite rigid. So you can imagine that if you're having to stand up and speak, you're mm -hmm. having to use your voice, and in order to make sound, you have to have your breath. Yes. You're having to move your body. So if your adrenaline rush is affecting your body in such an extreme way, this is what could happen. You become static, exactly. And you freeze. So part of what has to happen is you have to retrain the brain to firstly do a risk assessment that isn't okay. so extreme. And then you have to teach the body how to relax okay. in the event of a performance. And you'll be giving me a few tips on how to do that correctly, right? Well, yes. Yes, we'll okay. try. We'll try. <laughs> and before we do that, are, are there any differences between being nervous and having stage fright? Or is it the same thing? I think that being nervous and having stage fright is exactly the same thing. All okay. that happens is that in stage fright, the effects of the anxiety are so extreme that it disables the body oh, wow. and stops it from doing what it is that you need it to do in order to express yourself. Okay, now Paul, please will you like, give me a few tips of how to overcome stage fright? Okay, so there are some simple techniques okay. um, and then there are less simple techniques. Okay. We'll start with the simple techniques and one of the things that I need to say is that with any of these techniques, you, ca you have to retrain your body, you have mm -hmm. to recondition yeah. your body to relax in an extreme situation. Okay. So to do that, you have to have repetition. You can't just do it once and then go, right, now I'm, I'm done. Over and done, okay. Okay, so obviously the first technique that we're gonna look at is breathing. All right. And the thing about breath, as we were saying that when you are nervous, you breathe in or you breathe quite quickly. Mm -hmm. Part of what we have to do is we have to practice breathing with a normal, calm uh, breathing pattern. So okay. what I'm gonna ask you to do is breathe in through your nose, and out through your mouth. And in through your nose, and out through your mouth. Now already, you will start to feel slightly calmer. Mm. I mean, it's a simple meditative technique and yeah. anyone can do it and you can do it absolutely anywhere. But what you're doing when you're regulating your breath is you're saying to your body, it's okay. You can stay okay. calm and you can be relaxed. Oh, and your wow. body immediately will respond. It will release some of its tension. So those are the simple techniques. Mm -hmm. Now let's do a slightly more complex technique. Okay. And for this, we're gonna get physical. 
All right. Okay. Okay. So, one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to work at releasing the tension mm -hmm. in our bodies. So, what I want you to do is I want you to stand with your feet parallel, mm -hmm. and I want you to just put this hand in front of you like this. Okay. Now, I want you to make eye contact with your hand. And part of what we're going to do is we're going to take the hand up around over our head. We're going to bring it all the way around. So, we're going to get this stretch mm -hmm. in this side. We're going to bring it round back in front of us. Okay, we're just going to do that. So it's almost like we're doing oh, a figure wow. of eight over our head. I'm going to take out my jacket off. Okay. Make it slightly <laughs> less formal. Okay. Um, okay, so stand with your knees slightly bent, your mm -hmm. hands like this, and just begin to rotate your oh, arm. Wow. Just doing this. Now, what we're doing when we're doing this is we are releasing tension uh -huh. in our body. And there's a fantastic thing that I'm going to show you, and hopefully it will work. <laughs> Um, but once we have done this several times, I then uh -huh. want you to just hold your arm next to each other. Now, I don't know if you can see mine. Look how long the one is. Yeah. And look how short the other one is. That's how much tension oh, I have wow. released from my body. So part of what we have to recognize is that when we're nervous, our body seizes up. If we just do an exercise that releases that tension, uh -huh. straight away our body will become more relaxed and that will then help us to be able to deal with the event mm -hmm. of performing. Wow, my Paul, thank you so much for giving those tips to us. I think I will do this. So while I do this, guys... I need to do it with the other arm. Oh, Otherwise, the other I'm going to have one arm longer <laughs> than the other. Guys, while I do this, you might think that celebrities <laughs> don't suffer with stage fright. Well, they do. Celebrities like Barbara Streisand as well as Adele. Nine, nine, hectic.